Okay, so there we have uh, This is the Day by Verda, as requested by uh, Ivan Ubex. He was close to my thousandth subscriber, and as a little gift, I have uh, arranged this song from. So, you know the song, that's why you're here. It is a sequenced song, it's got a sequenced synthesizer on it, and lots of bass and accordion, etc. So, we've arranged this for acoustic guitar, capo on the three, and the chord forms. Are relative to the capitals. So G, A minor, A major, and C. Okay, let me show you our, our arrangement a little bit. So I just did this five minutes ago, so please ignore any mistakes, okay? close to the sequencer, like I said, two or three octaves on that sequencer, so it's not possible to do on the guitar without huge chords, and we're trying to keep it simple. Okay, so if you if you like what you hear this for, this far, please like, uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel, and enjoy. Okay, so we have our chord shapes, and we need to know the right hand sequence, okay? So we're going to place for the G form, we're going to place our thumb on the 6, index on the 3, Middle on the two, ring on the one. Let me turn in the slight there so you can see the there. And the string number is six, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay. Now at the beginning of the bar, place your fingers on. This is what we call planting. Okay, it's preparing the string so you don't come from the A. Are you liable to make mistakes? Fingers are on. You, you won't make mistakes. Okay. So the thumb plays the six, then the four. So that's the G form. It's actually a B flat, but it's a G form with the cap one. Now we go to the E minor, which is the second bar, and our sequence is slightly varied at the end. We go six, four, three, two, one, two, three, two. The sequence on the actual song is, is very, each bar is different, okay? So we're just uh, keeping it simple for the guitar. Let me show you that again on the E minor. Six, four, three, So those two together, G to E minor, six, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, six, four, three, two, one, two, three, two. So we'll just vary it slightly just to make it interesting. Then we go to an A major form, which is a C chord, and the sequence is this, uh, roughly the same as the first bar, however, we start from the fifth. So we go five, four, three, two. get the C it's roughly the same as the second but we start from the fifth five four three two one two three two okay so let me show you the whole thing on the G very slow we have six four three two one three two one on the E minor six four So you'll hear it in the sequencer um, at the beginning. Oops. Okay, I don't edit these videos, so you'll have to forgive the mistakes. Um, so that's our intro, verse, and instrumentals. Okay, if we want to continue playing that. Of course, you could you can vary it and do some strumming if you wish. Uh, but let's have a look at the chorus. Okay, so right hand sequence. I'm going to do two variants. The chorus chords, rather, are G form, G B form, uh, C, and then an 
way. All right. So J J B C and an A. But I have because we're finger picking. I'm also going to do an extended G on the second half of the chorus uh, to a G B with the high G C and then an A with a high A. Just when he starts, when he sings up in the register, I think it sounds nice to play the in the sequence. Better, okay. Now there are it is a walking bass line that comes in. We've ignored that. Okay, just keeping it similar for acoustic guitar, okay? So the first uh, four bars of the chorus, let me turn in again. So we've got a J and our sequence is, this time we want to place our fingers on the index on the four, middle on the three, uh, ring on the two, okay? And our sequence is six, four, three, As we switch to the GB, we go 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4. We do the same throughout. Switch to C, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4. And the same on the uh, A. 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4. Okay, so it's the same sequence, so I'll just change the bass for the, the G to the, to the, uh, the last three chords. So we have... sequence with the fingers but we're going to for the brighter part we're going to switch to strings to three two one but it's the same sequence but we change the chord slightly so for the G what we want to do now is we want to add this extra B since we've got the capo on the three we can reach easy okay so we've got our first finger on the third fret of the sixth string four, fourth finger on the seventh fret of the first string okay and then our sequence is six three two one uh, two three two threes okay Drop down the B there, or the second fret on the uh, from the cap on the fifth, third finger on the three of the one, and roughly the same sequence: five, three, two, one, two, three, two, three. On the C, same sequence: five, three, two, one, two, three, two, three. And then on the A, I bar the second fret, and then I come to the fifth on the first, and the same sequence: five, three, two, one, uh, two, three. I'm looking at the temperature as well. So. Okay, so let me see if I can play that through. So I have. Uh... I'm looking not I'm trying to memorize uh, what was it five let's try that again okay like I say I only have this five minutes ago so please forgive the mistakes um, but you've got the, the sequence in this in the slowed down part. Uh, so yeah, I think it sounds, let's give it a go. I think it sounds quite nice as we run through. So let's just hit intro. Ugh.
So you get the idea. Uh, slow it down and it, it's, it's imitating the sequencer in the song. Of course, you can just take those uh, chords and strum it if you wish, if you don't want to do the finger pattern. Completely up to you. So please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, I'm an online guitar teacher if you'd like face to face classes. And thanks again to Ivan Upex for uh, asking for the tune. Have a great day.